Hey, it's Jim Ebert with Cancer Can Rock. Today we have Jim Little doing his song, Cry Me a River. I hope you guys like it. Jim. Yes. How are you? I'm doing very well. We did your song today, Cry Me a River. I think it sounds really good. Thank you very much. Where did the song come from? Oh, I wrote the song about 25 years ago. Okay, um, so it's new. Yeah, so it's relatively <laughs> new. Thank okay. you very much, yeah. And uh, the song itself is about uh, a young couple experiencing the loss of an unborn child Ooh. and how they deal with grief. Okay. And it's basically uh, the male part um, comforting the female. Okay. Of course, that's where it, I, I would assume the greatest loss comes from. And, right. Uh, and it's, uh, there's a lot of metaphors in there. The whole song is metaphors, okay. actually. Okay. You have to pay attention and kind of know what the song is about to okay. actually well, now, understand. Now, now people will know. Yeah. What type of cancer did you have? Uh, well, they say I'm cancer-free, so okay. you're right in saying... What did, what did you have? Yeah. I had adenocarcinoma, okay. which is uh, cancer of the stomach. Okay. So um, they, it was a quick diagnose. I was diagnosed in August, and by September I was on a round of uh, four rounds of chemotherapy. Okay. Uh, I had surgery, and then chemotherapy again, and then I've been recovering for two and a half years. Okay, so what was the extent of the surgery? Uh, the surgery itself is, uh, is quite extensive. Right. It's one of the biggest abdominal surgeries I think you can have. They basically um, um, cut you off at the bottom of your esophagus, which okay. is where the, the food goes down, and then they take the top of your duodenum, which is... What'd you call me? <laughs> okay. yeah, a duodenum. Okay. And they take the whole stomach section out, and they join the tubes back together, and you're good to go. Okay. And while they were in there, they noticed there was some cancer on my spleen okay. and some lymph nodes, and they took that out as well, too. So it was pretty significant. Can you eat normally? Uh, I do eat normally. I eat small amounts, okay. and I eat frequently. Okay. Uh, the food goes through very quickly, and I have poor absorption, but I do function pretty normally. Well, like, I could sit down at the kitchen table with you and have a, a chicken dinner, and you would never know. It's right. just that I would eat less. Well, since there's no saturation of, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. The uh, is there's, since your food can't saturate, lack of a better or digest. Yep. How do you keep vitamins in your body? Well, I have to focus on eating uh, lots of protein. Okay. And uh, high calories. Okay. And. Uh, and that's about it. Okay. You, you well, just have to focus on those things. It, well, you're making it sound not horrible, and I'm sure that you've been through a fair amount of horrible. Well, by focusing on protein, it's it, it's as simple as throwing a, a, a container of um, powdered protein in your smoothie in the morning. Okay. It tastes wonderful. Right. You know, and they have, you know, the technology is such nowadays that uh, it tastes pretty good. Or okay. it, it tastes. Tasteless. Well, you're making cancer sound like a walk in the park, is what you're doing. <laughs> and we know yeah. it is. Well, it's it's just a walk in the park. It's so it is so easy. It is so so. Yeah, I don't even know why I took a day off work. Well, I know. <laughs> so you did have chemo. Yes, or, I did. Uh, okay. Yeah, I had four rounds. Of, uh, sorry, eight rounds of chemo. Okay. Then I had surgery. A little break, and then eight rounds again. Did you do radiation or not? No, okay. no radiation. Good. Fortunately. That's good. I, I uh, my doctor, uh, they didn't tell me about this. My first guy, first guy that wanted to do radiation on me, he's like, there's no side effects of radiation. Don't worry about it. Do later, my other doctors that I went to, so like, no, no, we're not doing radiation until you need it. Because there are things that, that happen. And, and uh, 20 years later, so that's how long I've survived now. Uh, I said, they didn't really tell me about the side, effect of, uh, side effects of radiation. They said, well, they didn't think you're going to be alive. And I said, you still should have told me. <laughs> but anyway, it's been a blast today. Song sounds great. You know, I hope you're happy with it. I am. And uh, I'm picky. So I'm pretty happy. Well, I'm pretty picky too. And I've certainly enjoyed the process and I absolutely love what I've heard so far and right. I know it's only going to get better because you haven't even finished right, right. so I, I can't wait I can't no. wait I was hoping it would be done tomorrow is that possible Jim be done tomorrow <laughs> uh, that costs extra <laughs> the uh, 
We were talking earlier about how good the players are when you came in. I mean, do you have any trepidation coming in or nervousness or anything? Or well, I thought I would be a lot more nervous than I am, but I okay. really worked on on the mental part of coming in. Okay. I rehearsed the song. Right. Um, uh, until I almost got sick of it myself, right. Right? right? And made sure that I was, you know, physically prepared. Right. Uh, I made sure I was mentally prepared. I did uh, creative visualization okay. to just just Get to ready. be more comfortable Good. coming into the environment and and not be intimidated, right? So. Right. And I knew that I was going to be surrounded by, you know, six or seven guys. And their job today was to make me look and sound as good as I possibly could. Without ego. Without, well, with the exception of yourself, of course. Right, 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 right. Yeah, right somebody right, has right, to have right, an ego. Right, right. Prima donna. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that, you know, did I prepare? Yes, I really did a lot of preparation. Okay. Uh, but it was all for me. It wasn't... Okay, because you did seem very, very relaxed coming right in the door. Maybe the first hour, maybe a little, maybe keyed up just a little bit, but overall just very chilled out. Well, I hope that was actually excitement and okay. not nerves, right? Okay. But it does one's manifest been. itself in exactly the yeah. same way, yeah. right? But uh, yeah, no, I felt quite relaxed. And, um, and the whole crew right. supported that relaxed. Casual no, again, atmosphere, no ego. unintimidating. You know, I mean, really, yeah, no egos. I mean, yeah. these guys were. Yeah. God, can I swear on this thing? Yes. They're extremely, extremely talented. You know? That's not swearing. Go swear if you're going to swear. Yeah, yeah, right. They were damn good. Okay. Damn good. That, that's. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as a swear anymore, but we'll take it. Yeah. No, they're great, great. Well, uh, we are in the Bible Belt, aren't we? Oh, God, don't. All right. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. Are we? You guys, are we in I the Bible? I saw a church no, down we're not there. The, no. the historic church. Well, yeah, I, Jim, if you have... Great name, by the way. Uh, if you have a church in your town, does not mean you're in the Bible Belt. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> anyway, the song sounds great. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Today was a lot of fun, and I hope you had as much fun as I did. Thank you so much. All right. Bro. Thank you so much. You got it. <laughs>